Hey Marshalls, on today's show we have What's for Lunch, Everything Sports, and Interview Who. And if you stay to the very end, we have Second Block Inspectors. Last week, Marshall County High School took home first place at the 53rd Annual Murray State Chemistry Scholarship Tournament. Students Mia Hofer, Anna Robertson, Jason Zhang, and Isaac Reynolds placed first among 10 teams from three states. Jason Zhang placed first out of all students. Good, good job, chemistry folks. Hoop Fest is less than two weeks away. Hoop Fest is a series of basketball games across four days this year. This is a time to come out and support our basketball teams while going against rival schools. Also, two top 10 nationally ranked teams will play this year. Let's show them who the best student section is. While we're talking about basketball, let's move over and see what Daniel has to say. What's up, Marshalls? Today is Big Orange Madness. Show your school spirit and show up tonight and support your Marshalls. The event will, be, will start at 5 and go from 5 to 9. We will also be streaming the event on the Marshall Media Arts YouTube page. Also, this past weekend, the Lady Marshals played in Madisonville North Hopkins. They won with an ending score of 51-46 with an ELM ending, making it a very exciting game. And finally, this past Tuesday, we had three Marshals signed with colleges pursuing their athletic career. Here's what each of them had to say about signing with their colleges. I'm Chase Hill. I'm going to Webster University. I plan to major in exercise science. Um, well, I've been injured my junior and senior year. I didn't get to play at all my senior year and this college, the coach, he didn't really care that like I'd been injured. He had seen enough through my highlights and the way I played and he just believed in me and saw like that I would be a vital part to his team. My name is Presley Gallimore. I signed with Center College. What do you plan to major in? Uh, biochem. You made this college like stand out. Their academics are superior and they have a really good soccer team. Madison Morton, I'm a senior. I'm signing to Dyersburg State Community College. It's really close to home and I will get automatic playing time and they are number one in their conference. Yesterday's lunch was great, but I'm still hungry for something. What's for lunch, Blake? Hey, so our Thanksgiving lunch yesterday was really good. And now today for lunch is barbecue pulled pork or spicy chicken sandwich. And Monday's breakfast is chicken biscuit. Enjoy and have a great day, Friday. Have you ever wondered how Marshall County got its name? It was named in honor of Chief Justice John Marshall of the United States Supreme Court who died near the time when Marshall separated from Callaway County. Justice Marshall was also the fourth and longest serving Chief Justice. FFA poinsettia sales are due Monday. They are $14 each, and to order, you can go to Miss Palmieri or any FFA member. All poinsettias come in 6.5 inch pots with decorative foil covers, and they will be in six different colors. They'll be delivered a week after Thanksgiving. Do you hear that? Woo, woo. It's time for Interview Who with Rise reporter Blake Prince and senior Olivia Larkin. Hey, it's Blake with Interview Who. Today, I'm here with Olivia Larkin. She is a senior here at Marshall County High School. What is your favorite meal? My favorite meal is sushi at Jasmine's. Do you like animals? Yes, I do. What do you think the world needs more of? I think the world needs more kindness. What do you have planned for after you get out of high school? I plan to go to college at Murray State University. Do you have a job outside of high school? I work for my parents at Sweet Tea Company. Even though yesterday's lunch was good, I'm exhausted from all that food. I could use a good laugh. Liberty? Hey guys, let's get started with today's Pilgrim's joke. If April showers bring Mayflowers, what do Mayflowers Bring. Pilgrims, haha. -ha. <laughs> Need something fun to do tomorrow night? Go check out some of our MCHS Rise students in a talent show for the Special Olympics. The event is tomorrow night at 6 here in the Performing Arts Center. 14 acts are scheduled. Some, come and enjoy your, the night and support your classmates. 
What's going on this weekend? How will the weather affect your plans? Here is Ryan with your forecast. Hello Marshalls, I'm Ryan Auten and this is your weather forecast. For the remainder of today and tonight, it's going to be mostly sunny with highs around 62. For tonight, clear conditions are expected with lows around 35. For next three days, on Saturday, mostly sunny with highs around 57. On Sunday, mostly sunny, highs around 59. And on Monday, it's going to be mostly rain with highs around 61. There's going to be a new storm system that's going to be moving across the United States into Thanksgiving week. Um, this has the potential to bring some significant weather um, anywhere in this large region. There's still some uncertainties. In terms of the instability for these storms, the more instability there is, the higher likelihood of severe storms. Right now, we're around 750. Still with some uncertainty, but our area is in that prime position for some uh, higher instability. And the thunderstorm, general thunderstorm probability is around 40%, but it is a large area, so we'll be watching. For our severe threats for November 20th through the 22nd, tornadoes is a slight risk, including wind also is going to be a slight risk, with hail and flooding going to be a marginal risk. For next 6 through 10 days on the temperatures, a large chunk and eastern chunk of the United States can be experiencing well above average temperatures, while over in the western portions of the United States is going to be experiencing cooler temperatures. For next 6 to 10 days for precipitation, large chunk of the United States, especially over in the west central United States, expecting well above average precipitation. That also includes us. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm Ryan Otten, and this has been your weather forecast. With the end of the semester quickly approaching, it's time to start preparing for finals. The last day of the semester is Friday, December 15th. Finals are that day and the day before. Even blocks on Thursday, odd blocks on Friday. Our Thanksgiving break starts next Wednesday. When we come back, we will have 17 days until Christmas break and the end of the semester. But in the meantime, be sure to spend time with your family and eat as much as you can. And now, last but not least, the forward action response team strikes again. We have agents on the scene in Mr. Williams' room. Let's see what they think this time. Roll the tape. I'm Tinkles. This is my partner, Tickles. Tickles and Tickles. Um, Spider-Man. This is Spider-Man. She needs to talk to you outside. Yeah. Just like a brief Ooh, moment. I can't leave these rascals too long, though. I'll watch after. Okay. What does he got here? What is this? Is there a body? Is that an urn? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's not classroom safe. What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> oh, nah. So, what is your name? My name is Scott Allen Williams. Family, have a wonderful wife and five wonderful children. We live on a small farm and uh, we have some livestock and we try to raise hay and we garden and we uh, um, are still working on our house and so uh, we have lots of things to keep us busy whenever we're outside of school. There's another sink back here. Oh my God. Is wow. This, is this code? Is you think he killed it himself? This sink is, get over here. Ooh. Never in my life have I seen such a sink. Why did you choose to teach? I think it has a great impact and I think it's a way of, uh, of serving and I think it's a way of sharing a, a light and uh, uh, trying to make society better. <laughs> the logs. Sir. If we pass, we fail. Oh, C plus. We're better than that. I want to see improvement. Okay. I love two bottles. <laughs> That's all, Marshalls. Have a great day.